We are looking at a expedition suite on board the brand new 2021 built Crystal Endeavor. And have a look at the entry foyer. Really nice marble and chromed out tile here. When you're in the expedition suite, you have a dedicated butler. So they have a butler's pantry here and they come in straight here from the hallway. Fix up all your good stuff for you. And look at the environmental control center here, we'll call that. All the highest tech and newest amenities on board Endeavor. This is the second bedroom. It's kind of like a kid's room with a single twin bed here. Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome to Affluent Journeys. That's my website, affluentjourneys.com. And I have more cruise video content than anybody else on YouTube. I have over 300 videos in my cruise tours playlist. And have a look here at the small side closet for this room. So they have like a terry fleece robe here and then also an etro robe and slippers. And a small LG flat screen along with some art on the wall. I'm using Super View on this video to, so you can actually see everything at, at once. I know some people don't like seeing the, the fisheye effect, but that's what I'm going to give you on this video. And look, we have the newest USB ports in here, telephone for the head, new Caudalie amenities for Crystal, a small single sink, and a small walk-in shower with a rainfall head and removable. And just to maximize space here on the expedition vessels, we'll have some short storage space here for your bathroom amenities. We'll have the guest bath here. Look at the Delos styles sink here. Look how deep that is. Get all the way into my forearm. That's really cool. That's funny, they're putting USB ports right by the toilet so you can charge up while you're taking care of business. So I have a main closet here. Look at the textured walls. This doesn't open, that's the closet from the inside. Look at the detail on the sconces here. This is the main foyer area. What we're looking at here I think is 985 square feet and you can add an additional room here, a standard suite, and bump the whole thing up to I think 1290 feet. So I have a writing desk here. Look at the LED phone screen. Of course I have more USBs, American and North American ports. And then we'll have the newest LG OLED flat screen TVs built right into the wall and sound bar. And look at the water vapor fire here. Is that cool or what? Recessed lighting. Plenty of space here. And looky here, guys. Welcome, Rotorer Crystal. Fortunately, this is not my room on the cruise. If you're in a regular suite, uh, you'll get Piper Heidsick, which is excellent as well. So you have a dining table. When you're in the big suites, you get uh, specialty dining uh, from any venue on board, uh, delivered to your stateroom, and served by your butler if you like. So let's have a look here at the regular room. This is a standard suite. My room will look similar to this, and I'll have a separate video of that. I'll just show you here quickly. And if you have the twin bed configuration, this is how it'll look. And if you just have the Expedition Suite without the connecting room, they call it the Expedition Penthouse. Here's the closet with little jewelry things here which you'll need on your expedition while you're doing landings and whatnot on the Zodiacs. And the ship here holds a maximum of 200 people, by the way. That's the max you can have if you want to go to Antarctica. 
By the way, the TV here pops up. Uh, more recessed lighting. Great artwork. And here's why you pay the big bucks for Crystal Exhibition. Get a bathroom that looks like this. Big rainfall shower head, removable, seated bench and Caudalie amenities. A really nice double jacuzzi tub en suite with another TV here. Double bowl sinks. Look at this glass faucet here. I've never seen that. Of course, vanity mirror. Hair dryer included. Of course, we can operate the TV with these remotes. And we'll have a single head back here. So this is the port side of the ship. On the other side is the owner suite. So the verandas are pretty much the same. You'll have a extended uh, side veranda with two chairs and a small table. Another entry door here. Of course, look at this. We're in downtown Miami today. Warm and muggy. We're in the mid 80s now in at least 80% humidity. And they will have pads here on the loungers. A nice view out the bow of the ship. They'll have padded lounge chairs and even a jacuzzi all the way out here at the bow. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed seeing the Expedition Suite and Penthouse here on board the brand new luxurious Crystal Endeavor. If you haven't already, make sure to hit like on the video, subscribe down below, and share it to your friends if you think they'd like to see that. And I want your comments down below. What do you think about this compared to the other uh, luxury cruise ships and the great suites that I show you on the Cruise Tours playlist on Affluent Journeys YouTube channel? And if you've sailed here on the Endeavor, I definitely want your comments so that way others can learn from your experience and decide if it's something that's right for them. Now, as you already know, I am a luxury cruise agent and I do represent Crystal Cruises for US and Canada only. If you're seriously interested in booking a Crystal Cruise, I'd love to hear from you about it. And in most cases, I can improve the offer slightly than what you would have uh, direct on your own. Even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly with Crystal's North American offices, not through another travel agent and not paid in full, most of the time I can still help out and I'll be glad to do it. So serious inquiries may contact me today at the phone number down below or submit your inquiry on my website at fluentjourneys.com. Well, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and please stay tuned for the next one.